What's going on YouTube? Um, today we're going to talk about FireGuard. Uh, FireGuard, for me, was one of the most difficult things to do just because I had to stay awake. And it kind of sucks, um, especially if you have FireGuard around like 0 to 300. Um, that's pretty much the only difficult thing about basic training, at least in the nighttime, that I thought was pretty difficult. It's just managing to stay awake. But the good thing is when you have FireGuard, you have it with a battle buddy. Um, and obviously the best shifts of fire guard are from like 2100 2200 even 2300 those are pretty good shifts of fire guard anything you know after that it's kind of like it kind of sucks because if you have fire guard let's just say at zero 200 yeah so 2 a.m in the morning you got to go back to bed you got to wake up an hour later at 400 zero 400 hours for you know for wake up call but so it's it's kind of sucks in that aspect uh it's easier in ait uh believe it or not but the only thing is like you're stuck but you, the only person conducting fire guard is one person which kind of sucks but um I mean, the good thing about ait is that there's vending machines so you can have a gatorade you can have probably a candy bar or something to keep you up um but you also have to conduct cq duty uh at ait so you got two duties you gotta take care of but when you conduct fire guard uh in, in basic training you you do it with your uh, your battle buddy. Uh, if you're lucky, you'll have it every other night. If you have bad luck and your platoon is pretty small, you'll have it every other like e every night. Basically, that's the worst possible thing that can ever happen to you. Is uh, you have fire guard every night? That would suck bad. But yeah, you it, it rotates around the bay, so and all and you're always gonna do it with your own battle buddy. Um, and yeah, you basically uh, do you conduct fire guard for one hour. Um, after the fifteen minutes of your shift have, have you know has started, you have to call CQ. CQ is um, operated by the drill sergeants that are on CQ that day or that night. Um, it's a twenty-four hour shift for them, and they have to basically. We have to keep in communication that you know what. All of our trainees are present. All of the weapons that are assigned are present. Stuff like that. You're basically conducting security. Uh, something that you're going to be doing out in the field later on, uh, especially like for the forge and stuff. Uh, even you're going to be doing that in the active duty army as well. Because when you get to the active duty army, you're not just going to do fire guard anymore. I mean, you're going to do CQ. And that's a 24-hour job. So uh, if you're having a bad time at fire guard and basic training... Well, it gets worse. So, I mean, it is what it is, you know. But it's not that bad. You uh, At least in the active ar uh, duty army, you conduct CQ. And then, the, then the, you know, for the following day, you get the day off. Usually. But um, in most cases, that's how it is. Um, but it's pretty much... That, that was the only difficult thing for me for basic training was doing fire guard. It sucked. And, um, you know, it's not... It's not that bad, especially if you have a good battle buddy. You guys can have good, you know, you guys can talk to each other. Get, you get to know your battle buddy really well, uh, which leads to another thing. Um, get to know your battle buddy. Know his first name. Know his last name, obviously. Um, know where he's from. What kind of music he listens to? What is her, What is his hobbies? Because sometimes the drill sergeants will uh, smoke you if you don't know anything about your about your battle buddy. Obviously, he has your back and you has his back, but you don't even know anything about him. So, keep one thing in mind: battle uh, during this time, uh, you should, you know, don't write letters during fire guard because if a drill sergeant walks in, you're screwed. Your whole platoon's gonna get smoked, all because you failed to pay attention during fire guard. Don't fall asleep during fire guard because that's also gonna result in everyone getting smoked. And the worst thing that can ever happen to you is when you're sleeping it's zero 200 hours and then here comes a drill sergeant and wakes everybody up everyone's half asleep and they're all doing push-ups at 3 a.m 2 a.m doesn't matter Just stay awake during fire guard make sure you you do your shift and make sure you wake up your battle buddy next to you the other bunk next to you make sure you wake him up at least five minutes before let him know hey yeah you got five minutes to get up um Oh man, most of your smokings are gonna happen during fire guard or 
the next day of because your drill sergeant found out that 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 you you somebody missed their fire guard uh, uh, shift, and you know for bre- right be- right when morning wake up happens, you'll get smoked. So yeah, fire guard is very important because it, it also teaches you a good concept about working as a team and honestly being reliable on each other and working with each other to do the job correctly, even though it's hard sometimes, but it's the way it's supposed to be. Um, and also, you know, it, it's going to help you. Like during combat, for example, if you're out on a fob, out on a base somewhere, out on post, fire guard doesn't stop. It's 24-hour surveillance. Um, the enemy's always looking. So you, we're always, we're always going to be looking back and make sure that that we know that, you know, we're on top of things 100%. So... Yeah, do do these things for uh, for fire guard. Don't write any letters. Don't fall asleep. Don't pretend to be asleep. Actually, don't pretend you're you know don't pretend you're you're awake, but you're actually asleep. Because those those drill sergeants, man, they're sneaky. Those uh, I had, I had a drill sergeant who I was actually awake. I was actually sitting on the desk. Um, and here here it is. I mean, this this drill sergeant literally creeps open the door and he gets in. And then he talks to me right away. Boom. Trainee. You know, blah, blah, blah. Um, you asleep? I'm like, no, I'm, no, drill sergeant, not asleep. I mean, I'm 100% awake. And he just walks out. But imagine if, if I was asleep. You know, waking up to a drill sergeant in your face is probably the worst thing you ever want to do. So it's like, it's bad. And believe me, it's going to happen. People are going to fall asleep on fire guard and they're going to find out. And um, it's going to be bad news. It's going to be a bad night for you guys. Well, bad morning, technically. Because uh, those guys like to come past after midnight. Because that's when everybody usually falls asleep. So, um, anyways, I got to drive. Um, freaking weather is crazy out here. Snowing everywhere. I'm sliding in this car. I should have bought a truck, honestly. Or a big SUV because I can't do it in this car. I keep sliding everywhere. It just, it's crazy. It's like, I think it snowed like nine inches. It's 11 degrees outside. <sighs> trying to go somewhere warm, man. I'm trying to go out to Fort Hood or somewhere. Fort Irwin. I don't, I can't handle the heat. I just can't handle the cold, man. It's, it's probably one of the hardest things. Oh, man. Anyways, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys take it to heart. I hope you guys learned something. Um, so, and you guys, hopefully you guys are prepared for basic training and are prepared for, uh, you know, conducting a uh, fire guard because it starts the day of basic training. Pretty sure. Yeah, it starts the first day of basic training. The first night you go to bed, you're going to be conducting fire guard. And um, I want to be the one who messes up. Believe me, everyone will remember you. That's the guy who fell asleep on his fire guard duty or her. That's the that's the that's the gal who who fell asleep during fire guard and we all got smoked an hour before wake up. Yeah. Oh man, good times. I'm telling you, good times. You guys take it easy. Um hope I see you guys soon and uh, that's pretty much it.